Woohoo! You're about to start your fun adventure. Let's go. Now customize your pet. Hey, you also earned a bunch of gems. Go buy something fun in the store. Hey, before you're done with level one, I have to ask, do you know the secret to pet hatching? I knew it! You are, after all, the new pet keeper extraordinaire! Could you do me a favor? Share your secret with Rolfie and Sophia. They're learning it themselves. Oh, hi there! You must be the new pet keeper everyone is talking about! So great to see you! I'm Sophia and this is Rolfie. What can we help you with? Me? Nah, uh, I leave that to the pro pet keepers like you. But we are learning about how your brain grows, which is important for everything, including pet keeping. Come learn with us. Oh, and, and this can be a fun activity to do with your parent too. So if your mom or dad is free, take a second to bring them over. The more the merrier. Okay, class, who would like to do problem three on the board? Please don't be me. Please don't be me. I know, Miss Einstein. Let's give someone else a try, Ralphie. How about you, Sophia? Um, um, actually... the bell what happened Sophia I had some very important business I uh, forgot to water the strawberries wait what strawberries oh <laughs> uh, I think we just ate them all sorry are you okay no, I froze in front of the whole class. <gasps> what if I'm not smart enough to do math? That can't be true. Why not? Well, uh, I don't know. Who want to go climb our tree? Okay, maybe that'll cheer me up. Remember when we couldn't climb this tree? Yeah. But now, our muscles are strong enough to climb all the way up. It would be so cool if my brain was like a muscle. Then I could exercise my brain to make it smarter. But I thought we were either born smart or not smart. It turns out that's not true. The brain grows. Incredimonster? Oh, you're my favorite superhero. Thanks, Ruffy. Oh, Incredible Monster knows my name. So wait, the brain really is like a muscle? Yeah. Some monsterifically cool scientists studied the brain and learned that it works just like a muscle. If you exercise your brain, it grows stronger, which means that anyone can get smarter. That's monsterific! But how do 
you exercise your brain? By challenging it. Like when you work really hard to understand a tricky math problem? Exactly. What if I don't do hard math, but I watch TV and eat ice cream all day? Does my brain melt? <laughs> no, silly. But I think our brains will only grow stronger if we challenge ourselves. Yes. That's right. Oh, gotta go save the day somewhere. Where'd she go? Aw, I was hoping she'd sign my, uh, my chin. So, as long as we're up for a challenge, we can make our brains stronger and get smarter. Yeah! Ready, Sophia? <laughs> you bet, Miss Einstein. How about you? Could you get smarter if you exercise your brain? So <laughs> That's right! Everyone can get smarter because the brain is like a muscle. When you challenge your brain, it grows! Okay, so we know we can grow our brains and get smarter, but how do we do it? Do a few challenging math problems. Yes! Doing hard math problems and other difficult things can be, well, hard. But facing those challenges is exactly how we grow our brains and get smarter. What will you do next time you face?